Yeah, and I would say too that um, the not Benyel method neuromovement is a method that uses movement to give information to the brain through the nervous system. And so that's what's so different about this method is that really we're striving to get that information to the brain. Anat has outlined what she calls her nine essentials for positive brain change. And so we utilize that uh, with the method. You know, on the outside, someone might look at it and think, you know, if someone's doing a movement lesson, following one themselves, or if they're receiving one from a practitioner, people might think from the outside, okay, this is some slow movements. Are you doing stretching? Is this a massage? What is this? But because we're applying those principles, those nine essentials in the way that we're doing it, we're giving that information to the brain. And that's what makes it so exciting, is that that means that there's the potential for any function controlled by the brain to improve. And that's why it has such you know, amazing and impactful and different results from other modalities. What kind of results are we, are we looking at? What like, like, I guess, who would go to get ABM? What, well, like, what kind of person would like? Oh, I need the uh, the not Benio uh, method. Who would do that? Actually, there's a lot of categories of people that really use the work to change their lives dramatically. Um, I specialize in working with children with special needs, so kids that don't roll over or sit up or walk or walk well, even hold their heads up to <clears throat> athletes that are wanting that extra uh, millimeter or extra second to your regular folks that have shoulder, neck, back pain. Sign me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on that one. Uh, I, would say, yeah. I would say that the method being a, a learning through movement method and not a therapy, um, once we engage in a learning process that the Anat Baniel method uh, facilitates, which is more experiential than the kind of learning that we do academically, for example. So when we, when we learn through becoming more aware of ourselves, um, we wake up the brain so that all function is affected by it. Everything that we do is permeated by the changes of the brain or that that brain has, has experienced doing this, this method. So uh, you can say that anybody can benefit because I work with people with strokes, for example, and I never worked on specific functions, but because um, the, the, the client's brain was able to wake up to himself, um, he was able to generate function according to his needs, not what I thought that he should be doing. Okay, I don't know if that makes much sense, but really, uh, it's it's more about you know upgrading the brain and everything else, all your functions, you know, psychological, emotional, social, physical, uh, get an upgrade. So why do you three do it? Like, what's the? Re I mean, you, there's so much things. I mean, you guys are bright, intelligent people. I have to say that again because one of the, you is my wife, but. <laughs> Good-looking. Yeah, good-looking, <laughs> adorable, yeah, loves chocolate, yeah, yeah. but, okay, like, I mean, why? There, there must be, there's always a why, because, I mean, this is kind of, this is your business. This is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you could do a lot of other things. Why, why be an ABM practitioner? Any thoughts on that? Absolutely. Right. Well, for me, I actually have been a physical therapist for 35 years okay. and I studied lots and lots of things and I kept studying because I felt like there was never something that really quite hit the spot and when I start, started studying this work I felt like I found home. I felt like I found a place that was so profound and was so clear of how to improve human functioning. Nice. What about you two? Um, in, in my case, it was our, when our third child was born, our daughter, who was already a surprise, uh, Charlotte, she was born with a chromosomal deletion, uh, Creutzfeldt syndrome. And the first thing we were told after the diagnosis of Creutzfeldt syndrome was, you know, she will never uh, be able to live independently. And that was something that was you know, a really hard reality for me to accept, and I just felt like, you know, there's always 
things going on outside the mainstream, cutting edge information out there. I want to look. I want to find, uh, you know, what I can do to help my daughter. And so I started searching, you know, Googling in the middle of the night, and I couldn't find anything. And then I chanced upon Anat's book. She has a book uh, written for, for families who have children with special needs called Kids Beyond Limits. And I chanced upon that at the Scotts Valley Library. And I read the first chapter, you know, the amazing story of a young woman she worked with, you know, for years and years. Her name was Elizabeth. And um, after I read the first chapter, I'm like, is this for real? And if so, how soon can we get started? And so uh, when we started, we saw changes with our daughter that, you know, we're so excited that, you know, I just wanted to continue with it. Oh, okay. So you, Marcia? You know, um, I also did, uh, have been a, a physical therapist assistant since 1996. But uh, to make this story short, I had an injury. I had a ski injury back in 2000. And um, I ended up with a surgery of an ACL. I had an ACL reconstruction. And uh, it was a successful surgery, and my doctor had to remove my medial meniscus. So I'm bone on bone with that knee. And therapy got me really strong. It was a successful uh, surgery, but I continued to have pain. And I was a skier and a hiker, and I used to run and do, I do all those things. And um, I started to, oh, my doctor, promised me that in 10 years I would have um, a knee replacement. I would need a knee replacement. And it's been already 18 years, okay? <laughs> and I will never need a knee replacement unless I get hit by a truck. <laughs> but, um, Let's not plan on that. so I started to get kind of depressed that, you know, I was going out to go skiing and go hiking and I was having pain. So my knee was very strong, but it was painful. So. In doing research, I found um, the anapneal method, and I started training. And uh, in a matter of two years or less, maybe, I learned to use my knee in such a way that I don't have pain much anymore, and I can do all the things that I love to do, mm -hmm. which is amazing. And I, I it, it, why do I do this? Because there's nothing uh, I could think of uh, that would uh, compel me to do uh, instead, um, I love hearing parents tell me that their child did something different, something new, uh, in spite of the fact that they've been told a horrible diagnosis and prognosis. Uh, it's also yeah, great. Let, let's, let's talk about that. Let's dive into that. Um, but I wanted to get into the movie first. So okay. let, let's get into that because I really, I, I kind of want to end off on that because I think that is, that's the key there. But first, it's PSA time. The best time of the hour. Do you guys like Legos? <laughs> <laughs> My kids yes, do. kids are like, you like when you step on one. Yeah, no. No. Um, well, you have you can have fun with Legos at the Garfield Public Library every Thursday from 3:30 to 5 p.m. Each week we'll have uh, constructed models based on a common theme. Nice. This directed activity is for children children ages five and older. The Garfield Public Library is located at 705 Woodrow Avenue in Santa Cruz. For more information, call 831-427-7709. Again, if you want to have fun with Legos, every kid does. It is the universally enjoyed um, toy. Then, cut that is it's every Thursday, every Thursday from 3:30 to 5. I feel like if, if this is something that like every family in Santa Cruz knew, knew about, it would be like overly packed right. with, with yeah. people. Right. Yeah, can't beat Legos. Okay. So, I rudely interrupted Mauricio <laughs> right mid-sentence, and, and I'm still going to hold him back, because um, I know he wants to talk about why he does what he does, and I want to find out what all three of you like. You know, what excites you every day that you guys do this? Again, there must be a reason, but okay, let's talk about this movie. So, the movie is A Life Unbound. What is this movie about? Any, 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 any takers for that question? Uh, this movie is about the amazing recovery of a couple of people that are profiled in the movie. Um, one had a stroke, a 27-year-old uh, professional cheerleader, and a boy who had global brain damage. And they both have, have had amazing recovery uh, using the ABM method. And um, one of the things that I'm very impressed about this movie is that um, the, the filmmaker made this movie um, 
uh, uh, all at his own expense wow. because he knows the parents of the child that was affected with this damage. And um, when he saw the progress that this kid made in a, in a matter of a few years, he just felt like he had to tell the story. Okay, he had to make a documentary and tell the story. So that's a, a very impressive, um, you know, um, anecdotal, I would say, right there. Um, also, the movie is great in a, that it has uh, a few scientists that are talking about neuroplasticity and how neuroplasticity is related to ABM, etc. So it's a great opportunity for people who either either had children with special needs or had a stroke or had you know, um, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, all kinds of conditions, neurological, and orthopedic, like I did. You know, I had a knee surgery and I'm doing better. 18 years. Mm -hmm. okay. I, think, I think the thing that's great is that it can kind of speed up the progress over time. So you really see people that have had these conditions, as Mauricio just said, and see the results after after time because of course it's not instant it's not you know it's not snake oil it does take I mean after one lesson you do see change but that change is is bit by bit as as we grow as we learn as we are as individuals as we grow aging and it's a wonderful way to see and inspire people to really know the possibilities yeah, so, so this is a documentary, right? It's a Correct. Documentary. Um, when, when's the date? When? Thursday, March 14th, 6.30 p.m. We're showing it at the Lowry Center. Thank you. 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 Okay, so I am already in trouble with the radio police, and I did not mention that you were listening to KSQD Santa Cruz. Okay, I, I felt like I was doing something wrong, and that was it. So, if you are driving right now, you're listening to your new favorite radio station, pull over, go to that preset button, you know, preset KSQD over 90.7 FM. Again, this is your new Santa Cruz radio station. So... Just to kind of wrap it up, why do you guys do what you do? How about Jessica? I do it because this is the only thing I have found that really gives me hope for my daughter beyond her diagnosis. And I'm really hoping that other parents who feel the way that, that I did and maybe were in a dark place emotionally can, can find that hope as well. Awesome. What about you, Gail? Because I love it and I love the exciting possibilities that I see in families and parents and it, it's, it just gives me great joy to know that, that there are other things out there. Uh, of course we need a medical model for acute injuries and so forth, but there are so many chronic ailments that people are, are searching f for other solutions and the one thing that I hear from parents is I wish I knew about this sooner. Yep, that's true. Marisa? Well, you know, I've had um, amazing learning through this method which ended in or not or, or which resulted in amazing therapeutic effects okay so I can't wait to share my experience with anybody who is in need great nice I love doing it thank you yeah that definitely shows but if you saw their face you got you would know that they're pretty excited <laughs> about this okay so just real quickly quite information about the movie where they go again the Loudon Nelson Center at 301 Center Street, Santa Cruz. And the That's, website... I'm sorry. And the website is a life unbound sc dot com. com. Dot com. Okay, thank you so much for, for being here today. And we look forward to watching that documentary. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay.